I'm Elise Samus and I'm from Chapin, South Carolina and I'm 11 years old. And I'm gonna be making crepes. <laughs> so first I'm gonna zest these oranges. So oranges give it a little bit of flavor. Sometimes crepes can be a little bland if they're just plain. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of sugar and I'm gonna I'm gonna work the zest into the sugar so that it can be all combined. Now in the blender, I'm gonna add the milk. And the eggs. And the salt, a little pinch of it. Now I'm gonna Blend it all up until it's smooth. Now I'm gonna add in the flour to the orange zest and sugar mixture. I'm gonna whisk it so that it's all the way combined. Now slowly I'm gonna add in this flour mixture to the egg and milk and salt mixture. I'm gonna add it in about three tablespoons at a time. The trick with this is that you add it in slowly because if you add it in all at once, then it, your crepes will be all clumpy and they won't turn out as fluffy. Repeat that until all the flour is mixed in. Now I am going to melt this butter. Now I'm also going to slowly pour the melted butter into the mixture to kind of emulsify the batter. Now I'm going to pour this into this measuring cup and I'm gonna let it sit for two hours. So I'm going to spray off my pan so that the crepes don't stick to the pan. And I'm gonna turn on the heat. Now I'm going to take this pan off the burner and while I'm twirling it, I'm going to pour in a tiny bit of the batter. Then I'm going to set it down and I'm going to let that sit for about one minute until the batter looks fully cooked on the bottom. When you start to see it bubble a little bit on the sides, that's when you know it's ready to flip. You just flip it over, kind of like that. All right, so this is starting to look cooked on the other side, so I'm just gonna flip it over one more time. Once the other side looks like this, it'll be done. First, I'm gonna add in a cup of whipping cream. Then I'm gonna add in a half a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to Whisk this until it's light and fluffy. Once it's light and fluffy, I'm gonna add in a little bit of cinnamon to add a little kick to it. Now it's ready to fill the crepes. So to fill the, our crepes, I am going to spoon in about um, maybe third of a cup of the whipped cream and I'm gonna spread it out long ways. And then I'm gonna wrap it up to make the little burrito thing. And that's how you make a crepe. <laughs>